every single time but welcome anyway <laughs> um today is our 34 week pregnancy update and I'm very excited to update you guys might as well just go ahead and make this a 34 and 35 week pregnancy update because I'm going to be 35 weeks tomorrow so um as you saw in the beginning I showed you my belly bump and it's big <laughs> Um, it definitely, I feel like it looks bigger in camera. I don't, I'm not just telling myself that. I really genuinely don't feel like I'm really that big. It's hard to show you guys a perfect angle without it being, like, too big or, like, small, if that makes any sense. Um, so that was the best angle I could come up with to show you, like, for real. That's kind of how it looks. Um, let's see. Okay, so I am... 34 weeks, I'll be 35 weeks tomorrow, which is absolutely crazy to me, um, and, um, I had a doctor's appointment last week, everything is doing well, baby is healthy, moving like crazy, um, I only gained one pound in two weeks, so that means it was all baby, which is very exciting, um, I know, like, like the end of your pregnancy I feel like is the hardest part not to gain a ton of weight because baby's getting big I mean baby is pretty much fully developed basically just you know putting on some baby fat that's pretty much all that's left um baby is losing that silky white stuff that's on his skin to protect his skin um so some of that will not be like some babies are still born with it they all have a little bit of it left on them but it's not, you know, it's starting to fall off, if that makes sense. <laughs> Guys, I'm tired. <laughs> um, <clears throat> anyway, so baby's doing good. Very healthy, which is a big praise. Um, the biggest thing my doctor and I talked about was I am having pain on my incision scar from my previous C-sections, and it's getting more and more painful. And she said, yes, baby is very low. She said his head is right in your pelvis area. So, um, and most of the time his back is like facing out. So his little bum is like right up at the top of my belly. Um, <clears throat> she said he's kind of just laying and resting all of his weight and his head is pushing up against that area. So all that scar tissue is causing me a lot of pain. Um, as long as it's not excruciating and I'm not bleeding, then I don't have to be too concerned. Um, it still concerns me when it's more painful. Um, at times it worries me because I do live a half hour away from the hospital, but Lord willing, everything will be okay. Um, and since my doctor's not too concerned about it, I'm just keeping a close eye on it. And if I get concerned, I'll go in. So, um, <clears throat> that's the biggest thing we talked about. Um, my C-section is scheduled, which is exciting. And so, um, make sure you subscribe, um, because I will post a video I think I'm gonna create a video that will say that we're on our way to the hospital whether I go into labor naturally or that way I can post it if we go into labor naturally early or I'll just post it the day we go in to have baby and also make sure that you follow me on social media which that information is down below um, if you want updates and all that fun stuff so we're going to do um, if you've watched any of my previous videos you know that I'm gonna do a name reveal um, but yeah, so make sure you stay posted for all that stuff. Sorry, I'm just trying to semi-listen. I know my kids, they're supposed to be cleaning their rooms right now, but I don't think they are. Um, yeah, it doesn't sound like they are. <laughs> they're probably chasing the cats. Um, okay, so what else to update you guys on? Um, my ass reflex is getting unbearable. Um, it's it's bad I have to take Tums every night and it's just like oh and I try not to take them I try to drink milk um, I, I sip on water throughout the night all night long um, and I try to just bear it but my goodness guys it's it's making me throw up that's how bad it gets um, so I have had some morning sickness again lately speaking of puking um, it's been, um, probably like in the last week I've had out of three, you know, out of a week, three mornings that I've been sick. So that has not been fun. Um, um, I'm just pretty much uncomfortable, ready to be done. I'm trying not to complain. I keep telling myself that, 
Um, I only have like four weeks left and I think it's four weeks and four weeks and just a few days. So whatever that is, four weeks and I think by tomorrow it'll be four weeks and two days. So um, until my scheduled day or whatever it is. Um, so I'm very excited and also, oh, at my last, not my last doctor's appointment, but the one before that, um, my husband and I have been praying about this decision for months now, um, and we were deciding what to do about, um, some form of birth control. I have used a couple different birth controls in the past, well, actually one specific, um, it was the one, I cannot remember the names, I'm sorry guys, but it was the one that doesn't, you know, affect your hormones and it just, um, I don't know, it's better for you, I guess. I don't really know. Um, I just really wanted something that really wasn't going to affect my hormones, but I took that for a while in between the girls, um, and then it got extremely sick from it. Um, I had a cycle, like I had a period for like a month straight and it messed me up and my periods have always been regular. Um, so we just, and I was super sick. I was sick the entire time. So when I stopped taking it to see if that's what it was, then it was fine. I tried it again to see if maybe it was just coincidence, but no, I got sick again. I was on a really long period again, so I stopped taking it. So we did more of a natural family planning. Um, and then after a while we decided that we weren't going to be too strict because if we were going to have another baby, we were going to have another baby type of a thing. I kind of, we kind of thought we were done because we had gone like a year and a half without me getting pregnant um, and not being on birth control. So we just kind of figured um, we were done and we just were like, whatever, if we get pregnant, we get pregnant. Um, but um, I got pregnant. <laughs> so um, I physically can't, don't know if I could handle another pregnancy. I really shouldn't complain. I'm not trying to complain because... I've heard so many stories about women that have horrible pregnancies and I feel so bad for them and I I have terrible morning sickness and I have really bad back pain and leg pain and now incision pain but I'm sure it could be worse so I feel bad for complaining but um, this will be my third c-section and so we were praying about it and um, in our state I guess they generally try not to um, tie your tubes unless you are 26 so and I will not be 26 for another year so we prayed that God would just give us peace about it and he did and that if it was his will he would work the details out and he did so I have signed the papers and I'm scheduled along with my c-section to get my tubes tied as well um, because I guess the reason why I'm sharing this with you is because everyone always asks me oh are you guys done now you know you have two boys and two girls we would love to have more children, but we have just, um, the, the amount of pain I have been in, um, it's very concerning to us, and we feel like God has given us peace on this decision, and so we're just moving forward in that. I have full peace in this, and I know there will be times where I'm like, oh, I want another baby, like, I know I'm going to be emotional about it at times. Um, I did have a hard time coming to this conclusion at first. But now I feel like it is the best decision. I've only been down here for eight minutes. Go oh. upstairs. Okay, please don't. Don't touch. You can stay here and just be quiet, okay? Okay, so anyway, so that is part of that too. Um, the only other thing is I feel like my hair has stopped growing. Um, I have those little like white hairs on your belly that you get when you're pregnant. Oh, um, my tummy hurts. Um, you're so distracted. Um, anyway, but I feel like my actual hair has kind of like come at a standstill. Please don't touch. I don't want it to fall, okay? Obey mommy or I'll make you go back upstairs. Um, so that's kind of a bummer because you feel like my hair usually goes really well in pregnancy, but like, I don't know, it's very dry and just, ugh, I don't like it. Um, uh, maybe a little change. I know like I'll have postpartum hair loss and stuff, but maybe it'll get healthier again I guess I don't know I've been um, trying to um, exercise a little bit just basically stretches and squats pretty much and uh, wall push-ups because I've been trying not to gain a ton of extra weight in other parts of my body which is 
very difficult when you're pregnant and especially when you're tired that's the other thing is I have been extremely tired like very tired and very emotional um I do tend to get very emotional at the end of my pregnancy um but the other day I just told my husband I was like that's it I'm done I'm done let's I'm done I'm ready to be done I'm ready to hold him I'm Matthew Ray Lafave that's not funny you don't hit go upstairs go upstairs right now um No, you're not. Keep going. He's lying. Go all the way upstairs. Um. Anyway, so whatever I was saying, I kind of, I really don't know. I have pregnancy brain so stinking bad right now, guys. It's not even funny. I can't remember anything. Oh, I've been so tired. I, I, I'm tired all the time, and I think that might contribute to me not remembering anything. Um. Yesterday, I drank like a whole pot of coffee. I'm not even kidding. And a pop. And I never drink a full can of pop anymore by myself. And I'm pretty sure I had more than one can because I drink some of my husband's pop too. So, um, I, I just, I, I'm so tired. Um, the, my kids don't get me up every single night anymore. And I just, I'm not sleeping well because I'm not comfortable. Um, <sighs> potty training issues. Someone pooed and needs my help. Lovely. Anyway, I guess I should end it here because I'm just rambling at this point and I don't even know if anyone's still watching. So, um, if you made it this far, thank you very much. Um, anyway, yes, so this is our update. I'm going to go help the poopy kid and then edit this quick so you can guys can watch it. But anyway, um, remember to rejoice and be glad and we'll see you next time. Good night, guys. Bye.